toilets lele po flash sibena lo sangu 2010 kuze kube imanje ayithasiphethe kahle lisinikeze inkinga leya flash eka nje kalula ngamanzi ngo Jake wazi ukusebenza amanzi omvula noma awemvula Government engineers and planners in South Africa are engaged in the delivery of improved sanitation to the 11% of South African households without any sanitation services. An additional 26% of households have sanitation services that do not meet standards, and they are at risk of failure and breakdown. In addressing these issues, Many engineers and planners are stuck in a binary paradigm based on what was done in the past in South Africa and it is time for a paradigm shift. In South Africa, sanitation in general falls into two main categories. In towns, you've got full flush toilets with sewers and wastewater treatment plants and in the rural areas, typically you've got a pit toilet which can be a VIP, which is a properly built pit toilet, or just a home-built pit toilet. That's what most planners and engineers tend to think of. In, they don't really tend to think of any options between those two. Full flush is, is terribly expensive, both in terms of water consumption and in terms of the maintenance, so it tends to bankrupt somebody, either the homeowner or the municipality. Full flush toilets are aspirational, but they use large amounts of water, which is an issue in this water-scarce country. They are also expensive to operate and difficult to maintain. VIP toilets have no moving parts, which makes them more robust, but they have issues with odor, child safety, and they eventually fill up. Is there something between a VIP and a full flush toilet that combines their advantages and avoids their disadvantages? It all started with a vision, okay, and, and the vision stem from a number of uh, challenges we were facing in South Africa around sanitation uh, to the poor, uh, closing the sanitation gap, etc. And, and what we found is that, uh, first and foremost, is that from a behavioral side, people were not uh, easily accepting the on-site sanitation option of a VIP as a norm. How can we move towards a more sustainable sanitation solution. And we stole the ideas from the Indian Revolution around what we call the, the poor flush sanitation option. What is a poor flush toilet? And how does it work? A poor flush toilet looks very similar to a full flush toilet. Only there is no water tank, cistern, Flusher. The one thing about a poor flush is you, you don't have a cistern which can leak. You know, cisterns can leak from two places, either the seal where the water comes into the cistern or the seal where it leaves the cistern. And it's that leakage that, that tends to cause very high water consumption. But just the actual flush uh, is not such a lot of water. The toilet is flushed by pouring one to three litres of water into the pan, forming a water seal in the bend of the pipe and sealing off any smell from the pit coming back up into the toilet. By using water, the leach pit is able to be offset from the toilet structure, making it much safer, especially for kids. Poor flush toilets are widely used in Asia, so they are typically designed for users who squat and use water for cleansing. To use the poor flush in South Africa, the design must be adapted for users who sit and use paper for wiping. So that was the challenge we put out this this terms of reference and no one applied uh, uh, for the fear of I don't know why. I approach uh, Dave still from Partners and Development and I put this challenge to him and say, Dave, come on, let's be innovative. Uh, let's give it a try, uh, take on the project and see what you can innovate. I was initially quite sceptical. I wasn't sure that it would work here, uh, but they asked me to work on it. The reason I was sceptical uh, was because well, firstly, it does use water, although not much, and so obviously you have to have a site where there's some water available. Um, and secondly, um, I was concerned that they would block up a flush toilet, uh, which is not properly used, uh, blocks, and then you've actually got a worse sanitation problem. In 2009, the WRC began its work to accomplish this adaptation. 
What we found was a poor flush toilet actually properly designed doesn't, doesn't block up. Even if you use newspaper for anal cleansing, it might use a bit more water, it might require a second flush, but it actually still clears. We were very encouraged by the results uh, from our prototypes, which we tested here. The first poor flush pilot was carried out in 2010 and 2011 near Pietermaritzburg in KwaZulu-Natal province. Two initial pilot toilets were built, followed by 20 more. These poor flush toilets had no cistern and no water connection, which means no constant leakage. Additionally, the installations featured leach pits that are easy to access and not visible to the users. After three months we then uh, built pilots at a further 20 families and that was five years ago. And those toilets have been in use for five years and uh, they've worked very well, they've had almost no problems. Alright, I'm going to get to the house. 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 So when you go to the house, you can get to the house. You can get to the house. I'm going to get to the house. I'm going to get to the house. Following the success of the first pilot, the next step was to scale up. PID and the WRC look to industry to provide expertise and support. Envirosan was approached by our Partners in Development and the Water Research Commission as far back as 2012 with regards to a new innovation in sanitation. Um, Envirosan itself has been involved in sanitation of many different natures right throughout um, the country as well as into the rest of the world and we decided it was a great rung in the sanitation ladder to be involved in and we jumped at the opportunity to, to venture into the waterborne sanitation market as we do believe that there's massive scope particularly for the low water usage sanitation market, which is what we're very passionate about. What we have effectively done is been able to accommodate the technology to be used as both a pour flush by pouring as little as one and a half litres of water in to clear the waste in the toilet bowl. We've designed the unit to be able to be used with grey water. So the same water that gets used to wash plates and knives and forks or bath children or whatever the case might be, having a shower for yourself is able to be reused to flush the toilet on a poor flush basis. More poor flush toilets were constructed across KwaZulu-Natal, Eastern Cape and Limpopo provinces, both at the household and school level, which each have their own challenges and opportunities. And we are beginning to see that uh, effect around behaviour change, where we are able to put these toilets close to houses, so that it's accessible to women and children. Uh, we've also put it in schools and we're finding that it's having a bigger impact than the conventional VIP systems that the schools build. Putting in this low flush toilets uh, in schools has been a very successful initiative. Schools are responsible for paying for their water consumption. A lot of the water is going to be used in the toilet. That really increases the, uh, uh, the water bill for the schools itself. And if you're using between 6 to 9 litres to flush the toilet each time and if you've got student enrollment of about thousand pupils so that's a significant amount of water that's been flushed away but with the low flush using about two liters at a time it's, it's a significant saving to that school. In addition to developing the hardware for poor flush to function the WRC has conducted research to understand what happens to the feces after the flush both in the leach pits and beyond. Pit sludge from VIP toilets and poor flush toilets is different in nature. Since VIP toilets use no water, the sludge is relatively dry. Additionally, many people use their VIP toilets to dispose of solid waste, leading to large amounts of trash in the pits. This not only causes the pit to fill up quickly, but it can also make it difficult to empty VIPs when the time comes. On the other hand, poor flush pits generally contain more water and less trash resulting in a more homogeneous mixture, which is broken down more easily. As a result, poor flush pits usually fill up more slowly and are easier to empty. Monitoring has shown that poor flush toilets take nearly twice as long to fill up as VIPs. Bruce Wickham and Simon Lorenz also investigated contamination of groundwater resources near VIP 
and poor flush installations in the Pietermaritzburg area. The results varied based on the site location, soil type and rainfall events. But overall, the study found that the effect of poor flush toilets on groundwater resources was not significantly different than VIPs. Construction of the first large-scale demonstration of poor flush toilets was completed in May 2015 in the Amajuba district municipality in KwaZulu-Natal. Like the whole area of this place called Bumtagani, they were using this type of toilet, of which it was a homemade toilet. The toilet that they're currently using, it's a poor flush toilet. Yeah, these toilets, if you compare with their old toilets, this one is, yeah, it's quite convenient to use. Basically, we did uh, 125. Uh, that was our target to do in this area, in the place called Bumtagani. As we're getting inside here, we provided people with some few learnings, like the health and hygiene, learning how to use the toilets and then we pasted it it's on the wall here on this of the superstructure lele it's a little like higher el dollar ever since the benzisa so this is the benzisa lele siya bonga raku nubal and zilu shin jimpil and zits who number two and a bit of a nani a baby chap lilu would see baby nalama toilet lao oh good boy has good to be fish and good to give an entire to flash away the project also featured child-friendly seats that were developed by Envirosan. The nice thing about this seat is that we have like a place for a kid. You just flip uh, the top cover and then this portion here, this part, is for the kid to use so that we like the kids can be comfortable or it won't fall in because just this size is strictly for the kids actually, you know. And then when you flip the other parts of the kit on, on it and then you just show the the ultra part where like an older person can be able to use a person like myself. I am the imperial Zabalula, Mabagla Matolet, and Nangan is a conungan, a goon, a second thing, a sort of campus, a maton and Jamas Neton and Jingagit. So this is a shabbily a cooling over a second thing, a sort of slow scope, a matolet and a sunk scat. A toilet lava mass is our tanda. Mabak Talabis, seven is a la M. Coat. Lime, good and the Mungos, the Sasabaka Kulibantanin, so government was Caesar Mogutas Fagilla. Through a number of pilot and large scale projects, it has been determined that the construction cost for poor flush and VIP toilets is essentially the same. From there, the confidence grew, and Etikweni, who were watching this with great anticipation, against uh, the backdrop of the kind of challenges they were having with dry sanitation systems, with VIPs, with even their hybrid uh, urine diversion systems. Etiquini Municipality is constructing 700 new homes in Verulam, just outside of Durban. They have opted to install poor flush toilets inside each house. Since these toilets will be the first and only toilets in the new homes, they will provide a good benchmark for the potential of poor flush in South Africa. The poor flush is a VIP. VIP is a very good thing. It 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 is a very good thing. This is the sense of the Shoranjal, Engoba Apepile, Akuselegele, Kantifuti Gulul, and Nogutu, the Nesans again, Logu, and Mazi for songing and knows what to hold many Afagama Poflash, Mparata, and the Mapoflash, who knows no Guba and the Lama VIPs. Gulul seven days are forty, and no be beings of the Sakunga losing Pepe. Moving forward, the poor flash promise lies in the hands of those who have a vision for it. In NS5, I wouldn't mind to see it like all over the country. I would say like the whole continent of Africa. There are so many people who are desperate need for these toilets. And to me, honestly speaking, this is an ideal toilet for like for a person to use. If you compare with the VIP. <laughs> Ngathi siyabonga nje sibe selintenje siyaqala nje phatha na ke sikusibe namathole sanjena lento abayenzema la bephinde benze nakwezinye indawo